Good evening, this is Mr. William, West Virginia. It's the 30th of July. This is the first time I've tried videoing. Um, it, I, it, the camera just hasn't worked correctly. Um, I just want to shout out to everybody. I've missed all of you, and I've had heard from some people that said they missed the video. So we're going to attempt it tonight. Um, I just wanted to share uh, something that happened uh, in a conversation with my dad in New York. We got to talking about when I was a younger young when I was a younger man and uh, younger young man, and uh, when he used to give us jobs to do. Uh, you know, I clean out the garage or clean out the basement. I was telling him, I said, you know, those were really good times as as a, as a, a young man because I knew that if uh, if my dad came home after a long day's work and he went to the garage or went to the basement and came back up and gave me the nod, I knew that I did a good job. Um, you know, that was that was his pat on the back. That was his hey, way to go, son. And it just made me realize that um, as Christians, as followers of Christ we we look for that nod from God and uh, it's kind of important when we get it and you know a lot of times you may feel like you're not getting it from him because maybe you feel like your life is full of sin or or that you failed him and uh, what what's really neat is when you get to a point to where you understand his grace you understand how how amazing truly amazing it is and you realize that no matter how the day goes all you have to do is say you know what father please forgive me and he gives us the nod because he's looking through the blood of Jesus and seeing us perfected. Um, because of that looking through and seeing us perfected, it causes you to want to walk a little more circumspectly, a little more straighter path because you know that, you know what, he's got you covered no matter what. And it's a great feeling. Um, so if you're not feeling like you're getting the nod from God, um, you may want to just ask for forgiveness. Uh, we've been hearing a lot of messages about repenting and uh, repenting is simply turning around and uh, it's really neat because it means you're turning away from one thing and turning toward God, turning toward Jesus. Um, and also it means that you, you rethink things. Um, we've heard several messages about repentance this week and, and one of the things that, uh, that I always think about is that the penthouse is always the top floor and it's always the coolest place, it's always the most executive place and it's the top of a building where usually a, a very wealthy person gets it because it's got a great view and it's just it's the penthouse it's the most important part of the building and uh, when you repent you move up to that really high place you're closer to God you're uh, you know that you've uh, you've gotten to that place where you have you can have fellowship with him once again because you've repented and uh, you're rethinking things and you're realizing what you've done wrong uh, repentance is an everyday thing. Sometimes it's a moment by moment thing for some of us that understand it. Um, and sometimes, you know what? I, I just rely on his grace sometimes because I know that he's already paid the price. And, uh, you know, he doesn't need to hear me say, Father, please forgive me. I'm repenting again. I'm repenting again. I'm repenting again. Um, I just try and walk out as best I can and, and, and realize and appreciate his grace and his mercy. Um, and, that, and that's not to take advantage of it. That's not to just go out and sin willfully. Uh, and, and, and at times we all even willfully sin. I mean, let's all just admit it. Sometimes we do things and we know we're doing something wrong. Um, you know what? He still loves us. He's a father that looks at us and realizes we're children that are, that are trying to follow in his footsteps, but we fail. We fail. And um, it's just a, it's a great thing when you know that he loves you so much that no matter how, you just kind of, he's, he's constantly looking to give you that nod of approval. I mean, I live for it. I live for when God's really pleased with me. You know, um, you know, without without faith, it's impossible to please Him. So by faith, I accept what Jesus did for me every day, and I try and walk this life out pleasing Him and loving people and loving Him with as much as I can. Um, that's it for tonight. I hope that this goes through. Um, I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. Okay. And if this is working, maybe we'll be back to on schedule starting tomorrow. Okay? Hey, shalom.